In this episode, I'm talking with a multi-talented musician, radio host, businesswoman, and so much more about wearing a lot of hats, adapting to the current climate, and being forward-focused in your career. Joining me today is Beth Lano. I think it's important for, for everyone to uh, remain nimble and flexible and adaptable. I mean, we have to, That this is survival now. No one knows what the future is going to bring. When technology goes bad, you, you can't get ticked off about it. You have to just roll with it. And that's kind of where we're at right now with, with everything. We have to learn how to roll with everything. I understand frustration levels and everything, but it's like, you know, this is just a fresh set of challenges. So be patient with it and work through it. I've gotten rid of nearly half of my stuff either throwing it away or bagging it up and getting it ready to donate and realized in doing that, that that's a real metaphor for how I want to be in every aspect of my life, but especially in, in business, I want to be agile. I want to be able to go in whatever direction that I need to go in, in order to contribute to the world, but also to my own well-being, my own evolving. I put everything in my phone. I put everything in my calendar. I prioritize tasks, all of this prioritization and note-taking and reinforcing ideas that you have, I think it's really critical to us as we go forward in this digital age. We can't space out on things. People depend on us too much. It's really important to stay focused as much as you can. Let yourself go every once in a while and, and dive into a movie or a TV show and decompress. But when you're on guard, be focused be focused, not fearful, but focused. Since I always am looking for work and I see questions, um, you know, on job applications and stuff, where do you see yourself in five years? I just look at that and I go, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that's just adorable. Because, uh, you know, I mean, it, that probably was was a great question to have like maybe 20 years ago, but it's, it's so outdated now. And the honest answer is, I don't know. You can choose to be afraid about what's unknown or you can choose to embrace what, what the possibilities are. And I think it's great to reflect on the past, but you can't live there. If you cling too hard to what has, has happened and what the way things used to be and all of that stuff, you are, you're condemned to, to be stuck there. My favorite gig is definitely the next one. I've had some wonderful, some wonderful experiences, but I'm excited about what the future holds. Don't be afraid to say, I don't know don't know how to do this, but make it your business to learn how to do it. Be prepared. Don't ever stop learning because with that learning comes growth and, and comes so many opportunities.